Now, the World Bank is pessimistic that a global target to end poverty by 2030 will likely not be achieved. According to the World Bank, about 600 million of the world's population will stay poverty-stricken even by 2030, other than that economic inequality is at its peak levels. Daniel Odumensa has the details in the following reports. The ambitious UN Sustainable Development Goal 1, aiming to eliminate poverty in all forms worldwide by 2030, faces challenges, particularly in parts of sub-Saharan Africa and conflict-ridden regions. The World Bank warned that this goal might not be attainable due to inadequate efforts in these areas. The country director of World Bank, Pierre Laporte, delivered this sobering message at the World Bank End Poverty Day event in Accra. At the midpoint of the SDGs, the world is unfortunately off track. At current rates of progress, the world will likely not meet the global goal of ending extreme poverty by the year 2030, with estimates indicating nearly 600 million people will still be struggling in extreme poverty by then. Extreme poverty is concentrated in places where it will be the hardest to eradicate. Parts of sub-Saharan Africa, conflicted, affect, conflict affect, affected areas, and in rural areas. During a speech on the theme delivering growth to people through better jobs in Ghana, the country director of World Bank urged governments to ensure equitable access to vital sectors of the economy for its citizens. It is critical to tackle poverty in all its dimensions. Countries like Ghana can improve people's well-being by ensuring more equitable access to health, education and basic infrastructure to provide all Ghanaians, regardless of their background, a path toward better living standards. Inequality remains unacceptably high around the world. 2020 was a turning point when global inequality rose for the first time in decades, as the poorest people bore the steepest costs of the COVID pandemic.